Why would you want to use Petri dishes on your mushroom farm? So the purpose of a Petri dish is to filter out three-dimensional growth of the organism down to a two-dimensional layer. This allows for the farmer to observe the mycelium and it allows for you to observe if there's any contaminants in the culture. So why would you choose between plastic or glass? What's up mushroom fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today's video, I'm gonna cover the difference between plastic and glass Petri dishes, why you would wanna use one or the other, and if you're interested in the links to these products, check out the description below. Otherwise, check out our Amazon storefront for all of my hand-selected picks for products that I use on my farm. If you're starting out a mushroom farm or you're just starting this as a hobby, you're gonna wanna choose between a plastic or a glass Petri dish. So why might you choose a plastic dish? So there's definitely pros and cons to both and I'll kind of break down all the pros and cons of the plastic dishes and why you might wanna use these. The first pro of using a plastic dish over a glass dish is that they're much more efficient. So when you purchase a sleeve or a box of Petri dishes, the plastic st pre-sterilized ones, um, they're gonna come in either a stack of 25 or 20, and it is very easy to pour all of these plates at once. Compared to a glass dish that it would be very cumbersome to stack all those dishes on top of each other, the plastic dishes all nest in one sleeve and you can pour them pretty efficiently in one fluid motion. So another pro to the plastic Petri dish is that it's very cheap. So one of these is gonna cost about a penny compared to the glass dishes, which run anywhere from $4 to $20, um, depending on the quality and uh, the quantity that you buy. Another pro of the plastic dishes is that they're very lightweight compared to the glass dish. So once again, if you're going to be pouring a bunch of plates or just handling them or um, shipping cultures, plastic is the way to go just because it's so light. Another pro about the plastic dishes is that they're very versatile. So you can get a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different features on the dish, depending on what your applications might be. Um, some examples of that, when I do my breeding projects, I'll usually get the 40 millimeter dishes because you can fit a lot more plates in the incubator. And I don't think there's options for that with a glass Petri dish. Some other cool features are that they make um, plastic dishes that have dividers. So if you're doing breeding projects, once again, you can do different experiments on the same dish. So it allows you to do a lot more tasks um, if you're doing special, um, special applications. So some of the cons of using a plastic dish is that they're gonna be a lot more fragile. So especially when you're just learning, um, you wanna be mindful that these dishes can crack pretty easily. Also, you wanna be aware during shipping, when you receive your Petri dish, you wanna make sure that they're not cracked or damaged because when you pour your plates, it can create a big mess. So compared to these heavy duty vintage glass ones, um, the, the plastic dishes are gonna be a little more flimsy. Uh, so another con of the plastic dish is that they're disposable. So it's going to be creating a waste product compared to the glass ones. And this also comes with a reoccurring cost as well. So because they're just one time use, you're always going to have to have an inventory and then you're always going to have a waste product. However, one of my tips for reusing plastic dishes is I like to make spore prints in my used dishes and that way I can create a nice little library of different spore prints 
and it makes it very easy to create a spore syringe or use those in the future. So that's my pro tip on reusing plastic dishes, but eventually they're going to end up in a landfill or a recycling facility. All right, and lastly, one of the major cons of using plastic dishes is that you're going to need a flow hood. Um, so because they come pre-sterilized, you have to sterilize your auger and then pour them in a sterile environment as opposed to the glass dishes, which I'll talk about in a minute. The number one pro is that it's reusable. So you just have to make a one-time investment and you can re-sterilize these and clean them out um, almost indefinitely as long as you take care of it. So there are really high quality Pyrex dishes that are gonna be even more um, long lasting. But in my experience, as long as you don't drop them, they're pretty durable and they'll last for a very long time. So another pro is that you can sterilize the auger in the dish. So if I was preparing this plate, I would mix my auger, bring it to uh, a dissolved liquid and pour it into this dish. Now it doesn't have to be in a flow hood because then you would put the lid on and then sterilize it. So this takes care of some um, barriers to entry because you won't need a flow hood and you're still getting a high quality sterile surface to work on. Some of the cons of using the glass dish is that it's bulky. So you're not gonna be able to fit as many in your incubator at once, um, but it does allow for more growth on the surface area. So it's kind of a pro and a con that they're large. Um, and then also the major con of the glass dishes is that they need to be cleaned. So I recommend having a few on hand if you're planning on using them often. Otherwise, it's just gonna take time to clean them up nicely and uh, keep your inventory fresh for your projects. Thanks for watching this video on the differences between a glass and a plastic Petri dish. Check out our Amazon storefront. And if you want links to these products, it'll be in the description below. Until next time, much love.